Half of them are in for a feast. While the other half must face their fears. And a new leader's calling the shots. It's been one hell of a week here on I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here! Welcome back to I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here live from Gurich Castle. And a very crisp Wales. Temperature has dropped here. It's got cold, hasn't it? It, uh, it has got very cold Did now. you go out today? Yeah, I did, actually. I went cold. for a, a drive to explore the local area. Oh, yeah. I just fancy the change of scenery. You know, after spending a whole week in this castle. Yeah, of course. Where'd you go? I went to Conwy Castle, uh, Deganwy Castle, <laughs> and Pristatton Castle. Well, a change is as good as the rest, I suppose, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, back to the castle now. He's obsessed. And after the men had stuffed their faces at the banquet, it led to some inevitable side effects. <laughs> Flatulence. Ah, uh, yes. And you know what a bad Trump's like. Lingers for ages, impossible to get rid of, and kicks up a real stink. <laughs> So there you go, Jordan is the new camp leader and everybody's got their duties. Mo and Giovanna are the chefs, Russell and Jess are the cleaners. Bev and Vernon are on laundry, Shane and Ruthie are on washing up and AJ and Holly are on maintenance. Yeah, I, I tell you what, I hope they do a better job on the maintenance than the guy in my hotel. Can you mm. believe this? I've got 500 TV channels and I still couldn't watch the football. Look at you! <laughs> I'll tell you what, have no you, plan B, Beck. There's no plan B! Have you, have, you, um, have you got Sky where you are? In the static hall? Mm. Oh, yeah. I just lie back on the mattress and I can see this guy through the hole in the roof. <laughs> Tell you what, when the sun comes out, Sky Plus. <laughs> Living the dream, really, aren't you? I am, Living really. I am. Right, we'll be seeing how the ladies get on in their trials shortly, but whoever does the next trial is down to you. In order for you to make an informed decision, open your eyes and face your televisions now. And Ooh. the vote for... The Harmory. Is it you that does that? <laughs> yes. That's your voice, is it? Oh, my God, I never knew. This I never one... knew it was him that did that. <laughs> this one is a two-hander. So the two celebrities with the most sports will be facing the Harmory. Very good. You can have your say by the I'm a Celebrity ad board that's free. You can cast up to five votes. Do it again. The Harmory. The book closes in around 35 minutes' time. I don't time. know why I did it like that. Uh, right, Castle Coin Challenge time now. Hey! <laughs> and this one saw so Russell and Vernon heading off to try and win a treat for camp on a dark night that was very windy. That'll be the veg from the banquet. Welcome back to I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. The vote for the trial is still open later in the show. We'll be heading into camp to reveal which two celebs will be facing two it. Celebs. Two Now, the life of a hard-hitting political interviewer is never easy, and no one knows that better than Victoria Derbyshire. Yes, over the years, she's never been afraid to ask the tough questions. Questions like, should we increase taxes to fund public services? What does a post-Brexit Britain really look like? And... Oh, you couldn't write that, could you? Could you? The runner who got shouted at and Shane comforted went on to become the director of EastEnders. Wow. Wow. You want to be careful. What? You should be very careful. Yeah, you know. You treated a runner terribly the other day. You were absolutely vile to that runner. What? Which runner? Mo Farah. <laughs> you covered him in fish guts at the trial, didn't you? And then oh, he slipped in the offer. I did, And I... you went, keep going, I keep did, going. yeah, yeah. Go, go on, Mo. Yeah, you're right. On a serious note, though, when you work on a TV show, it's very important to treat people with respect and dignity. Absolutely well said, Ant. What's next? Us two covering six women in a lot of fish guts and offal. Get in! <laughs> Welcome back to my celebrity Get Me Out of Here, where we're very excited to have a special guest appearance from The Rock. All right, then. <laughs> Before the break, we saw the ladies preparing to face the latest trial, barbaric. A group of women on a night out wearing matching T-shirts with their names on. This was basically a classic Hindu. And the question was, would they ever get away from the bar? Like I said, your classic Hindu. Yuck. That's the washing load from hell, that, mm. isn't it? Stinking of fish guts and awful. How on earth do you even start to deal with that? Well, first you check the labels, then separate your blues from your reds and put them in, this, put them in separate bags. Yeah. Once you've done that, you take them outside and burn them. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure you burn them at 100 degrees, otherwise you'll never get the smell out. Good point. Good point. 100 degrees. <laughs> uh, the vote for the next trial is now closed, and after the break, we'll be heading to tell them which two will be facing it. Now, if you fancy winning 70 grand in a Jeep, have a look at this. Welcome back to I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. We're on our way to reveal which two celebrities are facing the next trial. But before that, back to last night and after a busy day, they were absolutely starving in camp. 
Guess what they had for dinner? Oh, here we go. It must be something disgusting, is it? They've already had what? Eel, quail, cuttlefish and squirrel. Come on, what was it? Pigeon. Oh, that's it, I quit. <laughs> Pigeon, indeed. Let's go in and tell them who's facing the trial. Ah, that's it from us, but don't forget to go to the ITV Hub tomorrow morning for I'm a Celebrity, The Daily Drop with Vic Hope. Her guests are Ricky Hayward Williams, Susie Ruffle and Carrie Katona. Then we're back here, live from the castle, tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Thanks for your company tonight. See you tomorrow. Bye.